All right, so we got three different exercises to go through to help you with your forearm mobility, your wrist flexibility, and your fingers flexibility. This is all for people who maybe type a lot on the keyboard, uh, maybe your massage therapist, one of my clients is, he asked me to make a video for him, or maybe you just exercise, you do a lot of bicep curls, you do a lot of like cleans, your forearms get a lot of work and your hands always want to be in a fist instead of open and relaxed, okay? So first one you're going to do is a prayer position. Your forearms are going to be perpendicular, par sorry, parallel to the floor, perpendicular to gravity. Gravity goes that way, floors go this way. So parallel to the floor. In a prayer, what you're going to do first off is do about five repetitions of pointing to the ground, pointing to the ceiling. So this is just going to start off, warm up some of the tissues, help you to figure out where you're tight. After about five repetitions of that, what you'll do is you will take just your fingertips, pushing on the fingertips over and backwards. So that's taking you into a very long fascial chain, making it even longer. Okay, when you're in that, rotate down towards the bottom on that rotation you may feel more stretch you may feel like you want to explode inside it's all good as long as it doesn't hurt okay pain is a sign you're doing it wrong so we're rotating down to the bottom five or six on this way and then we'll do five or six on this way so for me that is my left finger is bending backwards so this is very helpful again to relieve some tension in your forearms. Um, pretty much that, that's really what it is. You got too tight of a forearm. Second one is wrist cars. Cars are controlled articulations. So for example, we do cars with our shoulders. Our shoulders can circumduct. That means they move in 360 degrees. Our wrist can do the same. My wrist can fl extend, flex, deviate toward the ulna side. So you see it goes down deviate towards the radius, okay? So we just take all of those motions and we go in a circle. You don't have to hold your forearm, you can do like this. So easy, super easy to do this. We are doing it just with a fist. You can do the other side with a fist as well. One moment, please. Cat, away. Perfect, so cat's gone, we can do the other way. Don't jump back up, come on, man. All right. He's back. He's not going to interrupt us, though. So, other way to do controlled articulations. Oh, he's coming. Dude, get out of here. Go over there. Okay. Controlled <laughs> articulations. Look at that. <laughs> with the hands, with fingers straight. So, first time we did it with the fist. Second time we'll do it with the straight hands. Just do it however. Lots of tension. Full range of motion. So, you're working fully that way, fully this way, fully here, fully here, fully here. Doing like a little circle there. Do a little Mike Myers in the mask. It's creepy, but it's good. And the third one, third exercise is for the extensors of the forearm. So we can't forget about those because again, the wrist moves 360 degrees. What you'll do for these is you will grab onto your hand and you're going to actually pull it, okay? When you pull your hand with your left arm, as I'm doing, I'm using my left arm, pulling, my right arm will pull outwards a little bit as well to kind of spread out the wrist a little bit. When we spread out the wrist, then, so there's the wrist spread out, then we flex the wrist, and all of this fascial chain in the forearm, all of these extensor muscles are now put on stretch, okay? So again, pulling out, stretching and that's that so to review we have the prayer you go up and down a few times bend your fingers over up and down a few times we have the cars controlled articulation okay again with straight fingers okay and then we have the distraction and flexion happy friday